All right, so I'm going to take you through some uh, glute and hamstring walkouts with bridging. Uh, I typically like to add a band to this one if it's possible. If you feel like that's something you have to work up to or you just don't have a band available, that's totally fine as well. Uh, it just helps add a little bit of extra work for your glutes. So you're going to put the band just above the knees. And I'm going to start off in a position that's actually going to favor my glutes a little bit more over anything else. And so that's going to be about a 90 degree knee angle. My heels, you can see, are a little bit closer in to my butt, right? Versus way out here. So the key is, if um, as I'm progressing, I'm trying to get more into the hamstring, I'm going to be walking my feet out like so. Okay? And we'll go through that as we go. So the first part is just making sure we set up well. If you need to, you can put something underneath your head. Um, a lot of the time, I like to encourage just a slight chin tuck so that as we go up, we don't do this number. Where you see that hyperextension in the low back, you can see that curve. We want to instead make sure that we're just keeping a nice glute squeeze, core is engaged and flat so that we're making sure we don't hyperextend and get any of the loading in our back, okay? So from here, our first position, we're focusing on that glute, so we're just driving up, pushing slightly out with the knees against the band, and we're going to do about five reps here, okay? And then from there, on the fifth rep, we're going to take those heels, walk it out. Notice I'm still keeping my hips lifted up through this. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit more into my hamstring. Same thing from here. Pushing through the heels, driving the hips into extension with my glutes, and adding that exhale as I come on the up. So it helps engage my core. Okay? So we're going to do five there. And then same thing, fifth rep. Stay at that top position. We're going to step out. Keeping the hips up and lifted again. Now I'm feeling it even lower into the hamstrings. And then five reps from there. Okay. And you can have your head back, but just keep that chin tuck. Just like so. Okay. And then again, if you can, one step further out. Same thing. Just going into that shallow bridge. You're still going to be feeling your hamstrings. It's just going to be much lower into them. Just above the knees. Okay, so that is your glute hand walkout with a band.